Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reads. Today's reading is going to be what makes men so attractive to you, okay? So, yeah, what makes men so attractive to you? So let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What makes men so attractive to my beautiful pile number one? Just make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What makes men so attractive to pile number one? What makes men so attractive to pile number one? What makes men so attracted to pound number one in the universe? Make the messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attracted to pound number one? I hope you all are doing very well. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing, anything that you do, all right? To be part of my collective, to let me know that you are supporting me. I'm grateful, all right? What makes men What makes men so um, attracted to pound number one? I feel like I said pound number two. If I did, I'm tripping. What makes men so attracted to pound number one? Please make these messages as clear as possible. If I didn't say that, then maybe you need to check out pound number um two. If you were interested, please make these messages as clear as possible. What makes pal what makes men so attracted to pound number one? Give me one more card. This is beautiful. I can't even lie. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. Okay, we have the Hermit, which would be Virgo energy. We also have the Ace of Wands. The first card that came out for you, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Swords, um, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, um, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, and we have the overall energy as the Two of Cups. So we have a, uh, Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, That could be... Your zodiac sign doesn't have to be. Also have Libra energy here. Um, cancer energy. And yeah. We have a lot of water energy actually. So cancer, cancer, Scorpio Pisces. So what makes men so attractive to you is the fact that one, you look very good. Okay. You're someone that's very attractive with this Queen of Wands being here. You're very attractive. You're very sexy. I feel like you're someone that um is with because every time Queen of Wands come out, it has the black cat. You're someone that's very lucky. Very some someone that's um very I was gonna say optimistic. You're someone that is very mysterious. You're someone that is very outspoken. You're very someone that is um um how can I say it? Um, I want to say flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're someone that is very free spirited. You are um, very much who you. You are very much yourself in front of everyone. You don't hide it. You don't fake it. Um, very charismatic. Okay. I've been using that word a lot. A lot. I like it. <laughs> Another thing that makes men very uh, attractive to you is the fact that maybe you are someone that you can burn candles to manifest, but you could be someone that very much enjoys candles. You could be someone that enjoys fire. You know, very passionate individual. I feel like you also are someone that know how to ignite the fire of a flame within yourself. So like, what I mean by that is, you're someone that I feel like you're very passionate very passionate individual you know what i'm saying but i also feel like um when you have to or when it's time to you can ignite the flame within yourself but you can also do that with your person your partner you understand i feel like you you're someone that's really good at pushing not not pushing but yeah i'm gonna say pushing or driving your person to success or driving your person to su succeed in life in general okay with the two of swords being here i feel like another thing that makes men so attractive to you is the fact that i feel like you have options you know you have options you're not sitting here and what i mean by that i do mean options in lovers that's how i feel i feel like you have options in lovers um you have people that you can um anybody that is attached to you or anyone that is around you or want to be with you whatever the case may be you have the option to cut these individuals off you understand what i'm saying like i feel like you know how to control that's another thing too with this queen of wands being here and how she's holding the flame you know how to um I feel like you have men eating at the palm of, uh, out the palm of your hands or you are someone that um, are, is able to con like it's either their feelings their heart like you just have men right here you know what i'm saying like you know how you can sit there and be like all right i'm done and men is just like oh shit. like i'm not that important to you like you don't need me as much as you like was this a facade it was never a facade is the fact that you're strong you're strong enough to know that you can do better you can you deserve better you understand what i'm saying you okay with being by yourself do you know how strong a fucking person has to be to be able to be like life goes on i am good alone you understand 
But the five of pentacles being here, continuing on with the two of swords, like I said, you are able to leave a person in the cold. I feel like you, it's, it's like, I don't think you do it on purpose with the five of pentacles being here and why men are so attracted to you. I don't think you do it on purpose, but you definitely have no problem with having a person like guessing what the fuck happened, even though they have the answer right here. You see the key and the, like they have the answer right there and they'll still be guessing like, what the fuck did I do? What did I do wrong? What the fuck did I do wrong? How can I fix it? What, what, what do I do next? What you do next is you get the fuck up and you try to put the key in the hole. Like, I told you, I don't like this. I told you. Like, it's like, you know, you told that per person specifically what you like and what you don't like. And that person is still like, but what did I do? How can I fix it? The answer is right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you tell people exactly like this and this and this is that. And this is what I want. And this is how I want it. You understand? And it's like up to you, you know, the person, the man to get that shit right. And if you don't get it right, then... What, a, what, a, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We have the three of pentacles being here. I feel like you're someone that's very... Um, I feel like you have a lot of friends. You don't just hang around your person all day. All day. You go out. You know? You don't go out all your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not someone that's like a party animal. That's for some. Some of you could be. I'm just saying. But... Um, the, uh, what, men, what men find so attractive about you is that you have your own life. You understand? Like, you have your own set of friends. You go out to drink. You're not a homebody. You're someone that you go out for celebrations. Like, even if you don't have that many friends, you have enough friends to be like, all right, let's let's go let's go get some drinks or let's go watch a movie or let's go. Like, you don't have to. You don't solely rely on your person to, you know what I'm saying, give you that oomph, to give you that, all right, let's have fun or let's bond or let's. You know you have your own friends, you have your own life, you have your own situation, whatever the case may be. The Knight of Pentacles to the King of Cups. I feel like um, when um, men find so, attract, um, so attracted about you, why are men so attracted to you is the fact that you make them feel like, you. I, I feel like you are someone that helps people open up their heart chakra, especially men. You help men open up their heart chakra. You make men feel very um, vulnerable, okay? Some of you may also be bisexual, doesn't have to be, but it could be, it doesn't have to be. I know people be like, ooh, ooh, but I'm just saying you could be, you know. I feel like what makes men so attracted to you is the fact that um, you take things slowly. And as you taking things slowly and you're not rushing into the situation with the King of Pentacles to the King of Cups, you get you allow that person time to open up emotionally. You ha allow that person time to really get to feel you, really be like, okay, I really like this person. I really want to be with this person. Overall energy being the Two of Cups, you allow this person to fall in love with you naturally. It's not forceful. It's not an extra push. It's not like, it's none of those things. Um, that's what men find so attractive about you is the fact that they fall in love with you to the point where they're just like, I want to be with you, okay? Your cup is filled, my cup is filled, let's fill our cups together. You understand what I'm saying? Let's do this shit together. Um, I feel like you're also someone, that, okay, women find so attractive about you because we do have the hermit card right underneath the, um, is the moon card. And then we also have the, um, the hangman, okay? We have the hangman. What's, what is this? We have the hangman, which is just letting me know you're someone that's very mysterious. You know, there's always like... They always are trying to find something new about you. Like, what else is behind that closed door? How else can I open up my beautiful pile number one, okay? Make this message just as clear as possible, universe. What do men find attractive about pile number one? What makes men so attractive to pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attractive to pile number one, universe? What makes men so attractive to pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What makes men so attractive to pound number one? I really don't even feel like I'm going to use this. I've been sitting here thinking about this, so I'm going to use these cards. What makes men so attractive to pound number one? Give me three cards for pound number one, please. Okay, we have flirt. You're very flirtatious. You're very sexy. It says extending... Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I feel like you are, like I said, prior to, all right? With the two of wands, um, two of swords, you have options. You understand? I feel like you are someone that's very flirtatious. It's not even on purpose. It's just you could be having a casual conversation and someone thinking like, oh, damn, she's flirting with me. Oh, damn, he's flirting with me. You understand? Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes pile number one so attractive? Hmm. What makes men so attractive to pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, give me one more card. What makes men so attractive to pound number one? Okay, we have let your friends help you. Like I said, with the three of cups, you hang out with your friends. You're not someone that just sits there and lingers. You're not someone that sits there and be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Can we do something? You be like, 
I'm going out with my friends. I'm about to go chill. You understand? Like, you got to either, like, if y'all live together, or if, even if you don't live together, you, like, you got to um, sk um, skedaddle. <laughs> I got shit to do. Make these messages as clear as possible. It makes men so attracted to pound number one. Give me one more card. Okay? And we also have pay attention to red flags. It says the signs. Come on now. I just said all this shit. I just said all this shit. It's that you pay attention to everything. You understand? You see everything. There's nothing that that, that goes past you. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what makes men so attracted to you because you don't shut the fuck up. And what I mean by that is, I'm not saying that you are annoying. It's not um, annoyance or anything like that. It's the fact that you don't allow men to feel like they can walk all over you. You don't allow men to think that it's okay to disrespect you, disrespectful, to be disrespectful to you. You understand? You pay attention to red flags and you sit there and be like, is that what we're doing? You understand? It's not like, oh, yeah, like, whatever, whatever. Nah. It's like you see the first red flag and you just, like, watch this. You'll see who's in control. Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes, them, what makes men so attracted to pile number one? Just give me one card for pile number one. What makes men so attracted to pile number one? What makes men so attracted to pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. Thank you. All right. And we have number seven, Nourish simple as that like i said with the queen of wands get someone that helps people you help men um you nourish men in different ways it's not even just in one way you nourish men with like i think the way that you have sex the way that you feed them the way that you push them to do better in their life the way that you sit there and um it's like penny for your thoughts like I, this is my opinion this is what i think you should do this is how i feel you should do it like you don't sit there and allow somebody to continue on and it's like you know you could do better like you know that you could do something else with your life you know but yeah my beautiful pal number one is all i have for you i hope that it resonated if it did let me know in the comment section and i will catch you guys in the next reading peace out my beautiful pal number two so today's reading is going to be what makes men so attracted to you i just would like to say thank you guys so much for um liking comment sharing subscribing anything that you do energetically to let me know that you're part of my collective i'm really grateful i'm very thankful I got a sneeze, but it's not coming out. Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attractive to my beautiful pal? Number two. So what makes men so attractive to my beautiful pal? Number two. What makes men so attractive to pal number two? What makes men so attractive to pal number two? Okay. What makes men so attractive to pal number two? What makes men so attractive to pal number two? What makes me so attracted to pound number two? What makes me so attracted to pound number two? What makes me so attracted to pound number two? What makes me so attracted to pound number two? Universe. Give me one more card. Nope. Give me one more card for pound number two, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep bottom of the deck we have the world card okay that's the overall energy for you uh, the overall energy is the world card <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the knight of wands and we also have here the page of wands okay you could be you most of the time you probably get people that's a little bit older than you doesn't have to be you could be someone's like sugar baby it doesn't have to be that but it could be you probably really like um um men older than you more mature than you doesn't have to be but it definitely could be okay um so the cards that i got out here is the king of cups the three of wands the ace of pentacles the two of cups the king of swords and the eight of pentacles okay like i said the overall energy is um, number 21 the world card okay so we have uh cancer scorpio pisces aquarius with gemini cancer energy here twice um and yeah that's the only thing that's like really sticking out to me so what makes men so attractive to you? Like I said, you may enjoy older men, okay? You may enjoy more polished men, more... You know what you want. That's what I, I'm going to say. I feel like you are... Because I was saying this in my head. It might not be true, but I feel like a lot of you could be very submissive. You probably like men that like to take control. You like men that allow you to be submissive, okay? That's what makes men um, so attractive to you is that... Um, you allow me the opportunity. Like, I feel like you start off submissive. Like, you don't start off like, this is what happened to me in my past. This is how my life is supposed to be. Blah, 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 blah. You don't take your past relationship into your new relationships or your connections or anything within that nature. So you allow men to be vulnerable with you as well. With the king of cups being the first card that came here, being emotion emotionally available, things of that nature. All right? With the three of wands being here, I feel like what makes men so... I'm sorry, what makes men so um, attracted to you with the three of wands being here? I feel like you are usually uh, men's wish fulfillment. I feel like you make men wait. 
okay you make men wait and that's for sex that's for for um personal time with one another hanging out um you know getting close to you you like one of those people like like you got to get to certain bases certain levels and shit like it's le levels to the shit like you're not out here like okay have me <laughs> you're not doing none of that you can see my bra that's nasty but you're not doing any of that stuff you're not saying like all right mm, it's i'm all yours you know what i'm saying i feel like um and I, I kept hearing you bring stuff to the table like you're not you're not one of those people okay you actually have a job you actually have um you can even help a person get a job you understand you have your own bag with the ace of, of pentacles being here you're someone that ace of pentacles to the eight of pentacles let's talk about it you're someone that's definitely I, I don't know. I was about to say well-traveled. I think that's because I'm looking at the world card. But I feel like um, what makes men so attractive to you is the fact that you are very um, hardworking. You're someone that is very... Um, you have your own bag. You have your own coin. You don't need a man for anything, but you want your man to do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you allow your man to be a man, but you still have your own. You get what I'm saying? You still have your own. You still work your nine-to-five, or you have your own business. Like... What makes me so attracted to you is that the fact that um, even though, like I said, you work a lot and you do what you have to do to make sure that you are stable, anything, like if you have kids are stable, whatever the case is, um, you may even make more than that person. You still allow that man to be a man. And that's what makes men so attracted to you, okay? We have the Two of Cups here. This um, Two of Cups and the King of Cups came out in the last pile. But I feel like um, what men find so attracted to you is the fact that it's an equal give and take. It's an equal love. Um, this is not... This is, like I said, you allow a man to be a man. You be submissive when you want to be submissive. I feel like you're very, if you are a, a, a it doesn't even matter. You are very much in tuned with your feminine, um, your feminine, um, your feminine side, right? With the King of Swords being here, I, I just really feel like you allow men to take lead. I feel like you start off like that, and it's like men find that to be very attractive because some women are not like that. As hardworking as you are, you allow men to be a man. Okay, and men find that very attractive about you. All right. Um, like I said, with the overall energy being the two, um, I'm sorry, the the world card. I do feel like you're someone that's very well traveled. I feel like you're someone that don't really like repeating cycles. Um, so I feel like you're not a person that would like to double back. It's like once they get the full blown experience, or once they, um, once you are no longer in your feminine energy, when once you're no longer being submissive to that person, it's just like. It's all about you now. You understand? Like, I feel like that's what it is, too. With the Knight of Wands being at the bottom of the deck, you're definitely a fun, happy-go-lucky kind of person. You like to have a good time. You like to go out, have fun, um, things like that. I feel like you're someone that likes to have sex. So that's another thing that makes men so attracted to you when they finally do get the opportunity to have sex with you. Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pal number twos? What makes men so attractive to my beautiful pal number two? Some of you may also, because I'm keep I'm looking at the ball and I'm looking at the um the surfboard. So some of you may enjoy I'm, I'm here snork snorkeling. I think that's how you pronounce that. I feel like you're someone that likes to um I feel like you dive deep in, in people's emotions. I don't know how the fuck you do it, but you do. Okay? But I like I said, you like maybe you like the aquarium, you could be a water sign, you could be a healer, you could be a... Uh, Someone like I said, you could be someone that likes to snorkel. You could like to snowboard. You like you could be someone that's very well traveled. Like you've been to a lot of places. I feel like you even took people places that they never been before. Not like took them, like paid for it, but like you know you like you chose spots like people never been before. And I feel like that's what makes men so attracted to you that you are very um you're very well polished your own self. Okay, make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pal number twos? What makes men so attracted to pal number two, okay? We have let your friends help you. What makes men so attracted to pal number two? What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pal number two is universe? Give me two more cards. What makes men so attracted to pal number two? What makes men so attracted to pal number two? We have you deserve love. Yeah. What makes men so attracted to pal number two? Some of you could also be Sagittarius. What makes men so attracted to pal number two? All right, we have unrequited love. So what makes men so attracted to you? We have let your friends help you. I feel like you're someone that, um, I hear that you're a friend before you're anything else as well. I feel like you're a friend more than anything else, right? Before you even a lover, before you're a wife, a husband, you're, you're a friend. 
all right so it's like if your your um person if your man wants to be vulnerable he's allowed to and he can be vulnerable with you because you are a listening ear you are a shoulder to cry on you are everything in one okay we also have you deserve love you are very lovable to a cups being here you are very lovable you understand like you are the full package but the unrequited love this is kind of sending me it says there's not enough there's not enough uh uh there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i feel like that's another thing too that's why i said with the world card here it's like if this person's not satisfying you anymore and you're not able to be submissive if you're not able to be in your feminine energy it's just like it is what it is and i feel like men find that very attractive the fact that you could just be like whatever you know pish posh give me one card for my beautiful power number two is what makes men so attractive to power number two what makes men so attracted to my beautiful pound number twos? Okay, we have number three, realization. All right. I feel like um I feel like you help men realize what the fuck a submissive woman or a submissive person could be like, or what a woman should be like in general. You understand like what a, a real relationship should be like. You help them realize, like, okay, this was worth the wait. This is what I wanted. Like I said, you are usually people's manifestations, okay? So, or manifestation, excuse me. So my beautiful pile number two is all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Thank you guys for being here. My beautiful pile number three. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be what makes men so attracted to you. So let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pile number threes? What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pile number threes? Please make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What makes me so attracted to my beautiful pal number three? What makes men so attracted to pal number three? What makes men so attracted to pal number three? What makes men so attracted to pal number three? What makes men so attracted to pal number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. What makes men so attracted to pal number three? I'm just not so attracted to pound number three. What makes me so attracted to pound number three? I'm so attracted to pound number three. What makes me so attracted to pound number three? Give me one more card. What makes me so attracted to pound number three? We have eight, eight, eight here. Um, we have the four swords as an overall energy. We also have here the four of pentacles. April, August. We have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. April, August, the number four, the number eight may have some significance to you. Take that as it resonates. What men find so attractive about you, child, let me tell you, you are just as stubborn as they ass off is. Excuse me just as stubborn as they ass is you know what i mean so we have the knight of pentacles six of pentacles eight of cups eight of eight of pentacles queen of pentacles eight of swords like i said as the overall energy four of swords okay so like i said with the knight of pentacles being the first card that came out definitely someone that likes to take it slow you're not someone that's like rushing into anything you take it slow i feel like money is very important to you as well you could be someone that also likes horseback riding riding i don't know why i'm getting that um i also am getting that you got a bag <laughs> you got a bag and i feel like you're very grounded you're a very calm individual like when i was doing the cards i was trying to get the cards out but i'm just like i'm just calm now that's what men find so attractive about you that you're very calm you're very grounded um you're very aligned within yourself you know what i mean um a lot of these of this uh, a lot of this reading this particular reading like power one two and three um has been the same type of energy but a little bit things a little bit of the, these things are tweaked so what makes men so attracted to you like i said um you'd like to take things slow you match energy so if someone is not taking you seriously you're not taking them seriously if that person's moving slow you move it slow to shit you understand like you move slow as fuck <laughs> all right with the six of pentacles being here you give as much as you're being given you okay you receive and you give what you receive. If you're receiving nothing, you're giving nothing. If you get if you're giving everything, you're gonna give everything too. It's like if you make me happy, I make you even happier. That's the type of person that you are. If you're not making me happy, then 
you're always going to choose yourself with this eight of cups being here and you see this little bit of as much as you felt good as as, as much as it made you feel hot you understand made you you know your hoo-ha moist or you made you feel room you know you're going to always walk to that happiness you're always going to trust yourself you're always going to pick yourself and you're always going to be you know that's what men find so attract, uh, attractive about you <laughs> that's what men found so attractive yeah that's what makes men so attracted to you Jeez. that's what makes men so attracted to you that you pick yourself now right you will pick your happiness and all that stuff men don't like when they uh, men like being picked for sure but men like women that are or when men like people that are individuals that don't leech and not clink like some men should i say because i don't know the whole world but we have eight of pentacles you're definitely a hard worker individual like i said we have the queen of pentacles to the eight of pentacles you could be an earth sign doesn't have to be virgo capricorn taurus right um also give i'm getting a little bit of um empress energy here as well isn't even though it's not out you are always going to be the one that's chosen and that's the thing too you like to keep yourself looking good feeling good you're very prissy you're very pretty you like your hair being done some of you may not even like even if your hair is not done you wrap it up and when you wrap it up the wrap matches your outfit like you like to match you like to look good and you just like to um dress a specific type of way you may even like to wear green because you like to attract money all right so that's what men find so attractive about you is that you are stable you are someone that is um you could be very good with money you could be someone that just makes a lot of money you could be a workaholic like people find that a men find that attractive about you that's what makes men so attracted to you okay um with the eight of swords being here it's it's kind of given i feel like it's so crazy what makes men so attracted to you is that sometimes you can become bound to that person like I feel like you do take things slow, but you may catch feelings fast as well. And sometimes you become very much bound to that person, like soul ties and shit like that. If it's not you, then you have that person like tied to you in some way, shape, or form. Like you're very addicting. Yeah, I don't know. Very addicting I'm getting here. Um, with the four of swords being here, I feel like you're definitely someone that likes to put things to rest. And sometimes you may break people's hearts and it's not on purpose. It's not on purpose. I don't feel like you intend to break anybody's heart, but sometimes, especially after they may have had sex with you or something like that. I feel like, especially after they have sex with you, they become even more bound to you. You know what I'm saying? There's something about you make men very uh, attached to you. You make men very attached to you. And I, like I said, it's really, I feel like it's really after sex. Four of Pentacles. What's underneath the Four of Pentacles? The Hierophant. Yep. This is interesting. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pile number three is? What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pile number three is? We have trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have um, faith. So what makes men so attracted to you is the fact that they, I feel like men just automatically trust you. You understand? They automatically trust you. It's, I'm not going to say that, but... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pound number three? We have release your ex. What makes men so attracted to my beautiful pound number threes? This could be the one. Yep. We have new love. Yes. So what makes men so attracted to you is that the fact that they trust that you can be the one for them. Period. You can be the one for them. You can be the one because we have the horror font underneath the... We have the Hierophant, what the fuck? We have the Four of Pentacles and right underneath is the Hierophant, okay? So it's like men be wanting to marry you. I feel like you be having men, like like I said, they feel bound to you. I don't know what the fuck you do. It could just be like, I don't know. You could be some, I'm, I'm not going to say that either. But there's something that you do. Some of you, y'all know what y'all do. Some of y'all do certain shit, okay? Some, some of y'all do certain shit. And I just feel like... um Men are so attracted to you because of the certain shit that you do. We're going to just put it like that. But we have Alicia X. You're definitely someone that helps people, like, move on from their past relationship. Like, even if they were hurting or something like that, their past don't even pop up in their head when they're with you. Okay? Um, give me one card for my beautiful pal number threes. What makes men so attracted to pal number three? Give me one more card. I just seen one flip. Where did it go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
that, that's about right. That would do it. We have number 16 power. I want to say what I want to say so bad, but I'm not going to say it. Because mm -mm. I know some people are going to get offended. But I want to just say your pussy got power. Okay? For the ladies. You got power. But I feel like, um, yeah. That's why men are so attracted to you. Because you have the willpower to do whatever the fuck you want to do. You have power in general. You're very strong. Very strong. All right? But yeah, my beautiful pal number three is all I have. You all hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next read. Bye.